All right, hello everyone and welcome back to uh, fifth grade math for today. We are gonna go over day two. So here we go, looking at number one, it says complete the table. Again, we are just following these rules, which is something we need to work on. So if we just follow these rules, we'll be able to complete this table easy peasy. So let's look at the table. So we have one over here, two, three, four, five, six. And up top, it's telling us to add two and then to add four. So I'm looking for a pattern already. And I see one, if I add two to one, I get three, which is what they got. And then I see one, and then it's telling me to add four. So one plus four gave me five. So now I see a pattern, I see what they're doing. So let's go in and we are gonna complete this table. All right, so we have two and we're gonna add two to two. So two plus two is four. Two plus four is six. Okay, so now we have four and six. Let's go to row three. So row three, again, it says to add two to the three. Three plus two is five. Okay, again, we're starting at three. We're going to add four. Three plus four is seven. All right, four. Four plus two is six. And four plus four is eight. Okay. Five plus two is seven, and five plus four is nine. All right, six plus two is eight, and six plus four is 10. So we just completed that entire table by following the rules. All right, let's go to question number two. All right, so it says Kenneth bought a shirt for $58.98. The sales tax was $3.54. How much money did Kenneth spend on the shirt? So I'm gonna go in, I like to circle my numbers. If he bought something and the sales tax is always added to what you buy. So we have to do that first. So let's come over here. I'm going to write this. So we have 58, 98. And I know we're adding, so I'm going to write my plus sign. $3.54. I'm going to line my decimals up. Okay. 8 plus 4. Okay. 8 plus 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll write that 2, and I'm going to line that up. 9, oh, I carried my 1. Okay, so 9 plus 1 gives me 10, 10 plus five is 15. Ooh, sorry, carry the one there. All right, eight plus one is nine, nine plus three, so nine, 10, 11, and 12. I'm gonna carry my one. Um, five plus one is six, and don't forget to bring down your decimal. So Kenneth spent, Okay, $62.52 on that shirt. Whew, it's an expensive shirt. All right, let's move on to uh, fractions. So it says 7 eighth minus 1 fourth. Now, one thing when you are subtracting fractions, you have to have the same denominator. Right now, we have 8 and we have 4. That is not the same. So we cannot add um the fractions. Um, I like to call this a uh, four square method. So we're going to start with the problem and we would write out the multiples here. Since I don't have a lot of space here, I'm going to move it over here. So um, we have seven eighths minus one fourth. Okay, make this pretty big here. Let me go over here. I'm going to erase this out the way. All right, so now um, I'm gonna list my multiples of my denominator. So I have four, eight, 12, 
16 and 20. I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to do my multiples for 8. 8, 16, 24, and I'm going to stop right there. We're looking for the least common denominator. So which number is the smallest number that is the same in both the multiples of 4 and 8? So that would be 8 for both. Right, so seven eighth that's already has an eight for your denominator. Your denominator, we do not need to change that. We are going to focus on changing um, or renaming one fourth. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to write my seven eighth here anyway. Ooh, the eight is kind of crooked, sorry. And then I have one, my one fourth. So to rename it, I need to change that four to an eight. So what multiplied by four? gives me eight. I can look right here. So one, two. So four times two. I have to do the same to my numerator. And when I rename that fraction, I now have, because you multiply straight across, two times one is two and four times two is eight. I'm not done yet, right? We just renamed that fraction. So I'm going to go back up here to 7 eighths. I'm going to write my new fraction because I'm no longer subtracting 1 fourth. I am now subtracting 2 eighths. So I have 2 eighths here. Now these denominators are the same. We're just going to multiply straight across. Sorry, we're going to subtract straight across. All right, 7 minus 2 is 5. And the 8, your denominator stays the same. So that's it, OK? So your answer is over here, five eighths. Whew, that was a lot of work, right? But it's worth it to get the correct answer. All right, let's move on to 12 uh, multiplied by six. So I like to set this up in standard algorithm. You can do any way that you've learned how to multiply. That's perfectly fine, okay? Six times two is 12. I'm gonna carry that one. 6 times 1 is 6, and then we're going to add that extra 1, which gives us 72. So my answer here is 72. All right, guys, great job. I'll see you tomorrow.